Alright, we are here in the That's Arca the end car. Of the session, at Nashville Super Speedway. Uh, I've done like 30 minutes of practice. So we'll see where we end up. I think I ended up moving the steering ratio up a little bit. Centered the wheel at negative 12 degrees. Steering offset. Knocked the front brake bias all the way down to 63. It's 3% from the absolute lowest it'll go. Uh, I think I might move it up to start this race so that it's closer to the 65 I practice win and then I can work it down from there so two clicks this we need to make it two percent higher so we should be at 65 percent front brake bias I don't think we can adjust these for us in here and it's inside the pit stop so, we are going to go out here and uh, give it a go. Alright. 2.4k is the strength of field to my apparently slightly raised 2k. About the second or third time I've bumped up against the 2k I rating only to be shoved back down that list, so... I tend to average somewhere between a one and a half and a two. I think I've gone up to a 2.1, but that's about as far as it goes. Kind of where we're flirting around here. Just want to go out here, keep my nose clean, and just try to keep my tires alive for the end of this. I get a radio check. Gotcha. Yeah, 10 pits, 78 Fahrenheit, 40 laps. Good job, Oliver. Thank you. Man, I didn't even think it was 15. possible. Okay. Let's go get them. Remember that our tires. She feels a little loosey goosey at the beginning, so I have to give her about five laps, put some heat in it. See so if we can keep the fenders on it for uh, a decent finish. Good luck, everybody. 2.4 is a pretty high strength field. 6K is the top guy. I'm guessing this is the top split based on. Uh, just how many people have actually uh, registered for the session, so... Okay, John, let's get this right. No fuck-ups. Green, green, green. Car outside. Still there. Hold your line. Clear outside. these guys, let's get single file and just kind of work on saving our stuff. Sorry man, I had to check up pretty hard there. Okay, the start will do. Time to get to work. Here, 
Inside 13. Fastest lap for Bruce, 30.5. Still there. 14th. That lap time was 31.4. Not particularly there. excited about this line everybody shoved me down here for. Easy, hold your line. Oh, buy me seven. Careful, still there. They're outside. They can go up there and run your tires out, guys, if that's what you want to do. I'll reel you back in. Uh, 15. Your last lap time was at 31.6. The guy behind has just done at 30.8. Yeah, I'm going to you back in if you guys burn yourself up. Your right fronts are super hot. Guys, just uh, burning their stuff off, trying to get up through there. It's a marathon, not a sprint. I want to overheat you right front, be my guest. When you can't handle at lap 30, when I pass you. race so hard you wreck each other. Go right ahead. Perfectly happy to sit back here in this group up there and let Got them to. fight Make each other for is now. what they got. Might be wrong, but I don't think they can stay up there and keep doing what they're Patrick, doing. I'm giving you room. All right, John. The next car is Campbell.
I slid up and got the wall. Crap. Really hoping this sitting back here is going to pay off. That lap was at 31.4. Good consistency. Take a little chase. That was a thirty one point four. Here, but I'm not seeing a whole lot. Maybe one of these guys up there is slipping back into this pack and get them running side by side to pull me up there. You've just done a 31.2. Well, I just don't seem to be catching anybody. Not quite halfway yet. enough in there before I get back to the throttle. I keep that right front intact. Underneath you now. Go ahead. That lap was a 31.5. I think the second half of the race is going to be Thank for you me. Dad. Yes, sir. I just got a heck of a run coming out the four there. That lap time was 31.7. Okay, John, you're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. E14. Parallel. Still there. Hold your line. Clear low. I think the 14's the answer I need. I need to stay with him and let him run these guys down. I'll just drive underneath her and follow him through.
We broke even. Oh no, we're, back. we're up to 14. I let that guy go. I thought I fell back. Somebody must be out. Was that thirty one point nine? It's one thing people don't realize is that they're driving it in the turn too hard. And getting back to the throttle too soon. He tried to drive it in there too hard, too hard to get it back there and get the spot back, and that only opens the door up for the exit of the turn, which I've got set to get better all out of the turn. I don't know if I'm going to catch anybody else here, but I'd like to get by that uh, guy in front of the black car in front of me. 15 up there. Campbell behind us now. Definitely have a bit of fall off right now. James, go ahead and go bottom. I know you're faster than me. It ain't as good as holding each other up, bud. You're clear. Come on up. I wouldn't give up a position that easy, but you're faster and I'm not going to hold you up, bud. Cap 2, build up in front is now 1.3 seconds. Oh, can okay, we get John, to the 15? Keep it up. Point two off him right this moment. See if we can do anything with that gap. That was at thirty two point zero. Time to him. That lap was at fifty two point two. Felt like I gained on that turn. Oh, maybe it did a little bit. Try a little bit of brake bias. Drop it down to full percent. The captain Milner ahead is now 1.6. And he has good laps and he has some bad laps. Maybe I'm having good laps and bad laps. That was down uh, 32.3. Uh, 
and it's just not getting down to the bottom anymore. catching that guy in front of me. I can do at this point. behind me and catch me. White flag, last lap. Good win, good race trailer, good run, Hunter. Thank you, battle. Good job, everybody. Good right there. I get cut it. Do it in there, Jordan. I guess it's probably not too bad if I'm in the top split. B13. That's the end of the race. We'll get him next time. Still a clean race. That's what I was looking for. like to not lost eye rating with that, but it is what it is. I'm kind of curious to see what my tires look like. That right in front was definitely super heated. That thing was way too hot. Pit lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour. My lap times are getting progressively worse. Yeah, I thought I was doing it some good. I guess not. So you're running 31 threes to about lap 16, and then we. About about 16 laps out of that, and then they just started kind of going, going down. The tires got warm enough, and then it was a uh, quite.
quite slippery slope from the 31s to 31, 31.1s to 31.5s, 6, 8, 32s. So it just, that's when she... That's when she started to get a little too warm, and that was all she had. Barely keep it in the 31s. And then we had 32s, and then it was just everything I could do to keep the car off the wall from pushing too hard. 13th spot. Consider and I qualified in 13th spot. We stayed where we are at. We only lost 22 I rating. I don't know if that's going to pop me back out of the 2Ks or not. But a clean race. And a relatively high strength field. I'll take it. Happened back there. Got going. And the seven car was just in a hurry and drove over the eighteen. Seven car had a bit of a problem trying to run their way all the way up to the front finished in six spots despite starting with the crap back here but they wouldn't let nobody stop them pass you any place that they could in a definite hurry. Uh-oh. I have somebody in the grass. He's in the grass. Yeah, hooked on the wall and then takes a drive down to mow the lawn. Somebody had to tell that guy they have a guy that does that. Here comes the seven. You don't care these guys are running too wide, he will find a hole and shove his car through it. <laughs> I don't know if he shut the door on him there or what, but that was uh, looked kind of fun. So you want to throw yourself in here, you are going to get in an accident. Point to hold him up. He was on a mission. Clearly. He had about eight more positions to go, so. Thought I was running a relatively respectable line. Let's see what this guy was doing. Get 
done at the start finish line, bringing it up by the wall, lifting at the purple ally sign and getting into the corner, picking it back up at that blue sign. Sign. Makes it back up here at that blue sign. Lifts and turns in before the black sign on the wall. I wonder if the lower stick ratio was better tire wear for this one or not. Gosh, that first run I did with everything stock sure seemed like it did a halfway decent job. Let's see what our leader was doing up front here. Getting down by the start finish line at the bottom, floating into the wall, lifting at the purple ally sign. Okay, he blinked a little bit. Mix it back up after that. In, into that blue side. Turns in at that blue side, lifts before the black side. Kind of lets it roll farther, farther than I was doing. It's that blue side, I was picking it back up a little earlier. You will, the bet most everybody else is probably doing the same thing, only far worse. Well, it's really Really letting it get down in the RPMs for there, but it's probably saving that right front a little bit better. It's running a 30.8. He's running two tenths of a second faster. I guess the combination of putting it in a little bit deeper, getting to the brakes to get it woed down, rolling it a little further before hammering back on it, I think that was what was saving his right front better than mine was. I was tending to uh, a little less on the brakes lifting at the blue sign with a uh, little to no brake so the tires are doing the slowing down here that one was especially bad I 
that for the roll out of the throttle a little bit sooner, back the corner up a little bit. It's probably the only reason why it was I did as well as I did. Otherwise, I'd have probably been back there with the rest of those guys. I fell off pace real sooner than I did. Decent turn though. Turn in just a little earlier. Yeah, I was turning in a little bit later. That lack of brake pressure just kept it from getting down to the bottom. Allows me to scrub more speed off the tires. Well, you gotta learn somewhere. I already made my eight races, so I'm not terribly concerned about getting races in. For these ones. However, I would normally have done a spectate and a watch of the guy up front in the top split. Spectate slash drive slash see what my tires look like after that. I watched the leaders and see the line that they're taking before I did a race. This was kind of all on my own. It's all right. Did okay. It was a little bit rough because it was a higher split. However, I was still around other guys that were lower I ratings than myself. I think the the lesson of letting the guys who are faster go is definitely an important one. Kind of held the 14 up, but I wasn't convinced he was going to get all the way up there. He drove it down to the bottom and got alongside me, and I lifted and got some light brake pressure a little bit a little early in there. Wide entry, given the spot, and fall back in line. My grand idea of following him through the field as he picked people off. The tires didn't stay as good as his did, so that really wasn't going to amount to much. I guess I'd have to do a test on my own to see if I'm able to get in that hard to get on the brakes to get it down to the bottom and get off there really will save the tires as much as they potentially did here. Because the brakes slowing the car down is going to stop the tires from wearing quite, quite as much. Definitely driving it in pretty deep. I mean, off on almost that side there, getting on and the brakes to get it down the bottom. 
getting that good turn in, combining it with the brakes, a nice fluid. Go down to 129. Get that turn. takes on these guys here I did not uh, I'm catching them along with the other guy must be running faster lap times 31 9 32 I wasn't there they get down make the pass And he tries to pass me back. He drives it in there so deep. Like, dude, we, we literally caught you. Do you think somehow you're still faster than us? That's the part I don't understand. That real hard dive inside there, and he closes up real good, but then we pull away from him from off the turn to the straightaway. And then the guy up here does the same thing. Fourteen clears him. So now the fourteen's doing his own thing. He is not impeded by the car in front of him, who is clearly faster in his car and past him. They're coming up to about a lap after the other guy has passed him. I'm continuing to shore that gap up from the center off. Tried, but it wasn't quite there. We went real high off the corner, I stayed real low. Got him down here in the apron. And then he's got the nerve to drive it in as deep as possible. He's like trying to catch me. Yeah, it might not have been this turn. Dives it in and tries to go on my inside. By overdriving the entry to the turn. Clearly has nothing because I caught him on my own. Passing him was going to be the hard part. Where do I do it? Where am I faster? Or well, can I position myself to do so? He is overdriving the turn. So I continue to pull away from him from the center off of the turn. He Drives it back inside there, scraping the tires across the asphalt, and then loses all that time as he comes off the turn. Like, bye-bye, guy. You're not going to catch me. I was faster than you. 31.9. He's three-tenths of a second slower than me that last lap. Can't say much, because there is nobody else I was going to pass from that point on. 25 laps in, that was as fast as I could get. I thought I was going to catch that guy up in front. He must have put some giddy up on there, because I was, at one point, catching. Catching that 15. Well, I guess he probably gave that guy a wide berth. That's probably, he lost all that time letting that guy go.
we'll see the next next time by what the lap times are. If I was indeed faster than that guy or what. So after the successful pass. Ooh, it really caught him center of the turn there. Visually, it looks as though I caught him. Made up a lot of ground in the center of the turn. Again, there we are making up a lot of ground in the center. So, we ran a 31.9. I was just a little bit faster. Not a whole lot faster. Two, two. It was two tenths slower. I was still slower. What well, line is this guy running? Let's get down to the bottom of that turn. Oh, that was a crappy lap for him. 32-2. That was a little faster than in that time. But he found himself a lion in the middle, uh, like a second groove up off the bottom of there in that last one there. And it appears to be a little bit faster. 32-2 was his last one. 31-9. Nine thirty. Yeah, he was just driving away from you. Wow, he's running such a how much such a higher line than one and two. Three and four, he's keeping it down at the bottom, but one and two, he's really rounded up a little bit. Yeah, he's keeping it up off the bottom. Yeah, that's all we had. That was good enough for. Spot. Take it. We'll find something else to practice up and try.